Hello everybody. Welcome back to Rob and Zach Talk. I made that up just now. I don't we don't have a name for this. Re Zero Talk. Re Zero Talk. Where we talk sure. about Re Zero. Episode by episode. <laughs> I mean, if you want to talk about Jobless Reincarnation, I'll I'll talk about it any day of the week. I don't have anyone to talk about it with because not not right. I'm very anyway. Yeah. Anyway, we're here to talk about episode two of season three of Re Zero. We, before we get anything, we got an opening this episode. We episode got, three or two? Episode two of okay. season three. You pretty, yeah. Two, three, three, two, boom. I might have misspoke, so my apologies. But we got an opening, Zach. And we did get an opening. I was. I remember when uh, the last season aired, we didn't get an opening until like for like six episodes, maybe eight episodes. It was finally like, oh, this is the opening. Like the season uh, two, part two. Yeah, like, no, it was, we got we got an opening and another banger of a song. Yeah, it. I will say this opening felt more anime to me than all the other openings, if that makes sense. Like more action-y versus like almost every other opening to me, like opening one kind of feels like you're just introducing character by character, opening two, a little bit of action. It felt more like opening two. I feel like opening two and this is the closest ones where action's kind of a focal focal point. Yeah, I feel like we got spoiled. Like yeah, we got spoiled a little bit. I I was gonna do a reaction. Still don't know if I'm gonna upload that reaction to it because I was like, I don't know if I want to rewatch it and go frame by frame because I usually do do that, and I did that for the last opening, but I didn't feel like there was enough for me to figure out who fights who and what happens. So I'm probably not going to do that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that's so, sidetracking it. But we're doing a quick recap of what happens or no? So uh, let's just talk about it. Y'all seen the episode? Y'all know what's going on. Y'all are we we we're back. Rezero's back. That's all I want to say. Two brute died, came back. <laughs> Two brute dies and came back. It's Wednesdays again. Wednesdays have meaning in the anime world because Rezero's here and yes, yeah, Two brute dies. <laughs> Yeah, that's how, how this episode starts, is he comes back from dying. And from having his head exploded. Ex- like, it was... That was vicious, but, like... Let's talk about Subaru for a second. Let's talk about Subaru. Uh, right, we- I love him to death. But some of his uh, decisions of... And I know it's his mentality of wanting to probably do something, like... I don't want Amelia to get hurt. I don't want Betty to get hurt. I don't want to involve them. I can fix this problem for his first life when he comes back. And the entire time I'm like, bro, this is a recipe of you're just going to die um, quick, quickly. You're not going to put up a fight. But at moments, and when he went in alone, I'm like, bro, don't do it. Like, just ask for help. Call anybody. Obviously, we get that happens afterwards but the first time i'm like i know it's possibly him thinking let me see if i can solve this on my own and if i can fantastic i've saved the day but i'm just like you're gonna die an extremely gruesome death and it was way it was like 20 times worse than i thought he was gonna die yes yeah him just head exploding crazy no not the head explode i'm talking about the his first his first life back after resetting and oh, going oh, back oh. into the mansion. And we'll get into light novel stuff versus differences later in the episode, everybody. But from what I... From the episode, man goes in there and just gets... He's hanging out. He's in, hanging out. Instantly, yeah, instantly wrecked. Instantly wrecked. Like, one, instantly like wrecked. some of the most... It was... I thought that was one of his worst deaths that I've seen. Like, uh, maybe not. Maybe I, I need to rewatch some of his deaths. But it's up yeah. there. Like, it... It, it is. It's up it there. Is. Um, so yeah, then he comes back again. Yeah, it comes back again. He's like he and this he, time he summons, has an idea. Yeah, he's he got an idea. idea. He thought he thinks, and, and I'm not trying to diss Subaru, but he thinks he's like, all right, get Reinhardt here. He does the thought I had as an audience. I was like, you just call Reinhardt here. I heard he can come in like five seconds of when Felt calls him. You know, uh, uh no, what's his uh the light novel name? On I like that Larry. Larry, yeah, you know Larry's Larry. there. Larry, Larry's there. Just get Reinhardt. What? That's what I would have done. 
and I think the whole audience. That's why I think that was written into it because I was like, "What else do we do? Call Reinhardt. Let's just let him deal with the problem." And I mean, we did learn that Reinhardt has some immunity to um, Cirrus's effect mm -hmm. because he doesn't instantly go under uh, mind control. Yeah, which I found that int in my I thought he was going to go on under it at some point during the fight, and I was like, "Oh, calling Reinhardt's actually a worse idea." But no, he's he's a no. Reinhardt literally comes in and kicks ass, and what's he do? He wins. He wins as he wins. Not really, no sweat, just easy easy dubs. However, everyone's under the spell, and they they all die. And Reinhardt's face is pretty not as sad as I thought it'd be. But it's. I think he's more shock. Yeah, he's just like, oh, he's like, what am I going to tell everybody? <laughs> I can't explain this. Um, and then I, uh, this is just something that's been said before, but maybe not everyone caught. The reason why he doesn't pull out his sword to fight is because his sword uh, will only come out if it deems the opponent worthy. Oh, so well, he deemed Elsa worthy then at some point. The sword Versus, did. The sword not, did. Yeah. Reinhardt, I, I know we're not going to talk about the book, but in the book he says he tries to pull the sword out and it won't come out. That's interesting. So he's fighting, yeah. So he realizes he has to fight it like he does. He's still super powerful. He yeah. still wins. But I just thought that was interesting that uh, Elsa gets the sword drawn out. But an archbishop does not. At least Cirrus does not. Yeah. And maybe and Cirrus is... If... Oh, go on. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, you go. And I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that her power doesn't affect him. Maybe that's it. Because, I mean, I feel like ReZero, maybe not ReZero per se, there are some scaling in the sense of if your power is so broken, like, you're kind of weaker in the sense of physical strength like still very skillful still very strong in any normal characters like even without the power she beats a lot of characters well maybe not a minion right. obviously we see it without some shady stuff but like still would be a lot of characters but then it's you're still just not as strong as a, a knight will be especially a knight like Reinhard who well he's 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 the yeah, master he's the swordsman <laughs> your favorite yeah, term the, yeah, the master the sword swordsman. saint master swordsman Sword but, Saint sounds so better, so much better. Yeah, but Wil Wilhelm's grandson does some work. He does yeah. it, but everyone dies again, which obviously we see it coming because, like, we're not like Reinhardt is going to solve the day. We're halfway through the episode. I'm like, all right, he's not something bad's going to happen again. So yeah, everyone gets chopped in yeah chopped in half, and the third loop starts. And this time, well, this time Super is like, you know what? I'm going to bring Betty. Because what's the point of having this contract? If I'm not going to use it. So, so he comes up with some bullshit excuse and um, takes Betty with him and then tells her the plan after they're out of earshot. And then, lo and behold, Amelia's there. Wow. And she's like, hey, bro, I got some training under me. You know, I, yeah. I'm not like just a helpless princess. No, I can whoop some ass. <laughs> She and she can, she's got some serious development that happened. Like, and uh, she uh, she fucks him up. Yeah, she just she, she can fight. She fight. She no, she can fight. Like this is like, like fight, fight. Like this isn't some. Oh, I'm just using my magic and it's happening. No, this is I can use magic and I can swing a sword. Like I'm not some. Like she's she can work. Like yeah, honestly, she, she, yeah, she definitely like, grew from her encounters in Sanctuary. So yeah. that's exciting to see. One thing I want to touch on before we get on to the ending of it is that, like, this is the quickest loop time around we've ever seen for Subaru. There's just been there's been days before. There's been – this is, like, he's got ten probably – 10 Is it 10 minutes? Like, exactly 10 it's, minutes? I think it's actually 15 because he has five minutes to get to the yeah. square. He's got 15 minutes to do this with not much of, like, a great plan. He can't come up and be like – I mean, he could, in retrospect, just not go, but that's not Subaru. He's going to go uh, well, and then yeah, think he, of a plan. But, yeah. like, he that's just not his character. He's not going to do that. Him, he's going to act and try to be the hero that he 
that Rem believes he is. I know he doesn't know that what Rem. I mean, Rem calls him a hero to his face before, you know, who no, is Rem. No, that's literally what he says in the book. That's that's word for word what he says. He's like, oh, really? Just, yeah, he says, I could just not go there and re-evaluate, like reconvene. But he's like, I can't let that kid die. That's my hero. Yeah, he's like, because because uh, I'm someone's hero or something Dang. like that. Wow. I don't know if he yeah. actually says that, but that, it but it's that he's thinking that at least. Yeah, sure. It, it's close to that. Yeah. So like he's got such a time crunch. So I do feel for him that like obviously also his deaths are kind of like being mind controlled. So he's coming from being mind controlled to being back. That it that's different from just you know his normal dying, feeling sick, because you know he just died. So. Right. I, I I feel for him, and I am curious. Without uh, I don't know if this is based on how this episode ends. If he's going to die immediately and start back from there and not get immediately involved, or if this is where we're going to go from here, like this is like there's no one's going to die, people are going to leave, boom, Amelia's gone and kidnapped. And I yeah. I I'm feeling I'm leaning towards that's probably going to happen more than another. We're starting back at that loop. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they ended it right where they did. Because like the the next the next fifteen seconds, it gives gives you the answer. But I think I know obviously I know why they they uh, they ended it right there. So we get after you know now going back to the timing. What we're talking about is Regulus Cornes Cornel. I just these names are so much harder for me to remember. Regulus. I have a. I literally have them all written down. So. It's Regulus, right? Um, Origi- it's Regulus uh, Corneus, yes. Regulus, you know, at first episode comes in, he's back, and he's he comes in hard. I mean, wait, before I get that, sorry, I messed up. Animation again, fight scene, best animation fight scene I'd argue in ReZero. Close to it. Yeah, well, cause, yeah, because they're actually yeah, because it's two people that can actually fight instead of Subaru watching someone else fight. Yeah, and but like of he's all. Watching- he is watching them fight, but he but it's two people that can fight. Yeah, and but we ha- as an audience haven't really seen this set. I, I could be wrong. It's been years since I've seen the first season. Since really Elsa, I'd say almost like there's not too much sword on sword or sword we- one weapon versus another weapon. It's usually magic's happening one way versus someone else's magic. Or you see Battle Geese has his arms or Puck. Like there, a lot of the fights aren't like here's my weapon, here's your weapon, let's go. So we don't get a lot of often chance, unless it was dealing with Elsa Garfield-esque, we don't get a lot of chances to see this type of animation fight, fighting, I feel like. No, we don't. That's why I think it it really works, especially since it's Amelia doing it. Yeah, it's Amelia doing it. I had no idea she could, she was like that. Well, what's the meme? Yeah. Like, I had no, I didn't know about that, about your game or something. Uh, I owe you an apology. I did not understand your game. Yeah, I did not Something understand like your game. Yeah, <laughs> and that's how I felt watching it, because I did not expect that at all. But anyway, uh, we finally—I mean, we keep hearing Tina the entire episode, like Tina, Tina, and in our heads, I'm like, I mean, I don't see Tina. She's fine, probably. And nope, nope, Tina was there the whole time. <laughs> don't under know where cloak. under the cloak is that where she was under the whole cloak. time? Yep. Oh yeah, wow, she was so the whole time. Yep, she's under the cloak. And once Tina's pulled out, Amelia immediately you lose this. tries to protect her and yeah. gets yeah gets her ass whooped. Yeah, it's just it's a dirty trick. But what do you expect from the witch's cult? And really quick, I did think uh, Amelia when she did the ice thing on the tower. I was like Amelia doesn't know there's a kid up there, and I'm like he she could accidentally kill him. <laughs> and that's what I was truly thinking. That's how the that's loop was going to end. Is. <laughs> that, that's what said in the book too. He's like, "Ooh, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine." Because <laughs> if I, I, I didn't, I, I, I filmed myself doing a live reaction to the episode, and then immediately my first thought is, "Well, that's the loop. <laughs> She's gonna win the fight, and we're just gonna have to restart because she murdered a kid on accident. She's gonna break down." <laughs> oh my god! But anyway, uh, Regulus comes in. But I love that. She's that, just like, oh. We're gonna attack first, okay. And then Bet. as soon as the Sears comes out, she's like, "Bam!" And <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> but Regulus comes Great. out, grabs Amelia from the fire, kind of saves her life in a way because I thought she was like when she was down. I was like, "Oh, we're we're brought this is just Amelia's like burnt corpse. That's fun." Uh, not yeah, fun he at does all. he does save her life. 
He does he because he takes because he can't be harmed. Yep. Nothing. No man is dripped out in his cloak. No no dirt. Nothing. And uh, he no. grabs Amelia. Goes about his way. Says I'm gonna. She's one of my wives. I don't. Obviously, he knows who Amelia is, right? Like I have to think he, he, or is he just thinks she's a beautiful girl i don't know which one but my assumption is he I, knows. I don't know i think i think he has to yeah he has to right but, but i think he said he fell in love at first sight yeah and i, feel I don't like maybe... know if that was i don't know if that was back in the past because he was in the past yeah fighting um I really hope uh, it wasn't in the past. I'm mean, I'm hoping yeah. for his sake before the popos come oh, out no, that wasn't that was, in the past. Was that him or was that when he was that was Ekidana on them? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, no, I think Yeah, I'm not sure cuz like Cirrus knew who she was. And mm. also I felt very dumb. Um I'm like, "Oh, all the archbishops have the last name Roman Roman uh, Conte, or Roma Conte. yeah, Romo Conte, yeah, something, it, yeah, and then in this episode, it's revealed that oh, yeah, it's she was married to him, so duh, they would have the same last name. I didn't register that, <laughs> yeah, her husband that she kills, he's talking about Battle Geese, Wait, yeah. T- I did not register that, bro. What? Yeah. I feel so dumb. I just thought they also had that last. Like, I thought a couple of them just had that last name. I was like, all right, bet. That no, I, makes I so felt much dumb more as, sense. Yeah, I felt dumb as hell, too, when I read that. I didn't know Battle Geese had game to get a wife, to be honest. I, I mean, it makes sense uh, based on the way they both talk and how they act. Yeah, I like I said, I don't, I don't know very much more than that. Like, I didn't finish reading the book for this like next part um i'm halfway through and i'm a little bit ahead of what like i know what happens next like immediately after but i don't know because that's like the end of the chapter yeah so how about this let's hey guys you're watching the video and you might want to click off because we're going to get into zach spoiler territory and i don't know what's i don't read it either so light spoiler territory because i don't want to get spoiled and things also like not spoiler territory per se. I'm, I don't know why I'm holding this like this. Uh, not light, you know, light spoilers, but also kind of like things that were different. More things are different from the light. Yeah, novel. no, I'm not going to give any spoilers because I'm going to wait to see what's actually in the episode. So different title. But, um, Zach's different. The differences between light novel and and the anime with Zach. Correct. So. I'm turning the page like I have notes written down. I did not write any notes. Um, Really, the biggest difference is it goes back to um, the character development of Subaru. So on his second attempt where he gets hung by the neck, like brutally, he actually sneaks up on Cirrus and whips her around the neck and flings her off the tower. Um, So he chokes her out first. Oh, so and he like just, gets her first? Yeah, he he gets the drop on her. Like he his plan actually se- like seems to uh be like it's gonna work because he sneaks up in the tower, grabs her, flings her off, undoes the chains, and that's when he says, like, oh, she made you chain yourself, and then that's why he becomes under her spell. Oh, okay. So does he, he okay. thinks he thinks she is dead because he thinks he got her. Yeah, and it actually shows that his because we see him holding the whip, we only see him in the training montage use the whip, like mm-hmm. once to hit a target. But he actually yeah. is using that, like he tries to use that in the fight, and he just gets his ass whooped because he didn't know about um, her having more chains. She just thought the kid was chained up. She didn't. He didn't know the chains were in her her cloak. Yeah. So when um, she pulls herself back up with the chains um, and then he chokes her out uh, or she chokes him out uh, that's that's why is because he uh, got the drop on her it's a lot better of a fight it shows Subaru's development like you said actually being yeah. able to fight more and like compete yeah, he, with this he takes, yeah he takes his role more seriously and then the only other thing um, that I think is kind of important 
is that Priscilla, as Subaru takes Betty away to show, um, you know, to try to get the problem solved for the third loop, Priscilla is the one that tells Amelia to go with him. Oh, they say that in the anime. As they said Priscilla said go follow him? Yeah, Amelia says it. Amelia uh, says Priscilla told me that uh, if you'll regret it if you don't uh, go. Oh, I must have missed that. Yeah, that was, it was I like just, right yeah. before like when Amelia comes in. Yeah, well, that's right where she says it in the book, too. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, so, I must have missed that. So, yeah. But yeah, Priscilla is the one that uh, tells Amelia to go. And this so, is... How much of the book was this, would you say? Like, episode-wise? Uh, like, since you're reading this it, like, was currently. probably... I would say it's the first third. Like, one book, I think, takes up about three episodes. Like, the first, epi- the first episode of season three is 90 minutes. So it's literally the first book from start to finish is the first book. Yeah. Okay. Huh. But was there um, anything else? No, that's it. Because, like I said, I know what happens immediately after. So um, the next part, uh, it, it'll be for episode three. Um, I do want to speculate. Now, I don't know. Yeah, let's speculate, let's speculate for a second. I don't know what's going to happen. But here's my speculation is that when they have to deal with Cirrus and her ability, I think they're going to use the loudspeaker and have Lillian play. Mm. Um, to because so Reinhardt, so in the book, Reinhardt says he's falling under, uh, he feels Cirrus's power, but he's fighting it, he's able to fight it. Okay, and so when he knocks Subaru like back into reality. Um, like by shaking him or whatever he does. Like Super was watching him before he falls back under the spell. So I think you just need a jolt to get out of to break the the, the spell. The hex or the curve, whatever whatever yeah. Beatrice calls it. Yeah. So I think they're gonna use Lillian singing because everyone loves, loves her singing, singing to snap the people out of it so they can actually defeat her. Which would and to add on to that, I feel like it's almost like if you, your attention span almost like if your attention is drawn to the witch like battle geese's wife i forgot her name already if your attention Cirrus. is drawn serious if your attention is drawn to serious then you will be in her spell even if it's a second like there's you're just like oh i'm drinking some water oh what's that boom caught in the spell but if there's anything that's just I, like you're saying i didn't even think about this until you were talking but if you're he- hearing the song for song and you love that song that witch ain't taking your attention away from the song. Your fully right. undivided attention is going to be to that. Right. And it seems so in the book, it was a little confusing. It wasn't very clear. And the anime, I think, does it a little better. Um, because everyone looks, as soon as they look at Cirrus, they're under the spell. And Subaru tries to fight it, but he still ends up looking at her. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just what you said. It's It's an attention thing. Like hearing, like, because at first I was like, oh, if you hear her, or if you're just around her, or if it's this, no, it's the attent. If your attention is gr- grab on Reinhardt's feeling it a little bit because his attention is he's fighting her, his attention has to be focused on her, like, right? But and, like he also has Reinhardt, his, it's Reinhardt's just Reinhardt, so yeah, and that and that's basically what he's what he tells Subaru is on on me, but <laughs> um, he's like, yeah, I feel the power, like it's his power, and um. Yeah, the fact that Betty and Reinhard can't be on the same battlefield is probably going to lead to some issues. Yeah, and I watched ED too. I I don't need to watch ED. Looks beautiful though, but I need to not watch these things. And it kind of made me think. I mean, the fight, the main core fighters are going to be Garf, Reinhardt. I mean, there's probably everyone's probably going to fight, but like when it comes to Subaru's tag team, if Amelia is kidnapped, and that's where we leave off. I mean, he's going to need to find Garf. We don't know where Garf. We know where Garf is, but we don't know what his mental state is. Does he want to fight? Does he not want to fight? Is he just broken down? Can he even do anything? Reinhardt, he can't fight on the same battlefield as Reinhardt, and Julius can't either because Julius has the same thing of everything goes to Reinhardt. Like no user, spirit user. Even Amelia really, when she has Puck, obviously she's more than a spirit user. Couldn't really yeah. fight next to Reinhardt. no one can really fight. Reinhardt's a one man army, to be honest. Right. Like unless you use a sword. Well, one, yeah, he challenged Puck, he challenged Puck in one of the the loops. Remember the uh, the yeah. unknowable president, yep. or whatever it was. 
Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, bro, wait till you get to next week's episode. Because, like I said, I'm a little bit ahead. Shit goes crazy. All right. Crazy. Uh, let's end it here. I want you to tell me a, a little bit. I just wanted a sneak preview after we, we're going to end the episode. But. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of an episode review of this. We had some fun. We talked. Let us know what you guys think. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up in the comment section down below and leave a comment. I already kind of said that, but I'm going to say it again. Leave a comment because we want to discuss. This is fun. Like, I only have a reason to talk about really with him. <laughs> That's why we're kind of doing this, too. So it'll be fun to get some interaction to figure out what you guys think is going to happen. Obviously, don't try to spoil it. If you spoil it, I mean, I can't really stop you. I'm just going to read it and be like, damn, that sucks and probably move along. <laughs> And then forget about it because I usually that's usually what happens with me. So, but yeah, uh, ciao. Bye.